All right, it is indeed my great honor to uh, host this awards luncheon. As chair of the board, member of the Housing Assistance Council, I am proud of the work that Hack and his partners have accomplished in so many rural places. Today, we are celebrating those people whose accomplishments have made an impact on communities and families in rural America. They are truly a distinguished group. Our first award, the Cochran Collins Award, will be presented to Starry Kruger of Rural Development Leadership Network. Starry is the founding president of the Rural Development Leadership Network, established in 1983. RDLN works with small farmers, farm workers, community builders, and activists in a national multicultural social change network through hands-on projects, education, leadership development, and networking. She previously received the William French Award from the Rural Community Association Corporation for Leadership in Rural Development, building and sustaining an organization that benefits rural communities and having an impact that goes beyond a single community. A former volunteer organizer for the Agricultural Workers Organizing Commu uh, Committee, she is the author of The Whole Works, the autobiography of a young American couple Two who grew up on small family farms in Michigan and landed in a migrant camp in California. That's published by Random House, in case you want to go pick that up. Starry is a rural advocate and views community, com uh, community development as a comprehensive process whose success involves the health of all systems. Starry is also the founder director of the National Rural Pro Fellows Program from 1977 to 1983. She has organized delegations of rural community women and men to international meetings, such as the NGO Forum on Women in China, the World Conference Against Racism, the World Food Summit, Association for Women in Development, and commissions on the state and the status of women gatherings. She has worked with rural women's, pro women's producers groups to assist with peer exchange and technical assistance in developing their organizations, their products, and markets. Previously, founding director of the National Rural Fellows Program, Ms. Kruger has served as an evaluator to the New York City Anti-Poverty Program, the Ford, the Ford Foundation, Americans Friends Service Committee, Tuskegee, University and other groups. Starry's life role has been committed to improving circumstances of deprivation characterized by lack of money and often inadequate food and unsatisfactory housing in rural communities around the world. RDLN focuses on strengthening the capacity of local people to address their own challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the recipient of the Cochrane Collins Award for Distinguished Service in Housing for the Rural Poor, Starry Kruger of the Rural Development Leadership Network. That must be somebody I know. <laughs> and I found that there are many friends in the room, even though I haven't met you yet. I know we're all friends, and I appreciate that. And I appreciate Hack's staff and board uh, giving me this very, very high honor. I'm really thrilled and touched. And I uh, want to recognize the fact that 
our board chair is here. His name is Moises Loza. You may have heard of him. <laughs> Another board member of the Rural Development Leadership Network is Twyla Martin Kikaba, who is here too, I think, somewhere. And um, Ninfa Gutierrez has served on a project board for us. And all the staff has been terrifically supportive. Other hack board members have led us with advice and uh, participated in our assemblies. So we have a great bond with the Housing Assistance Council. And uh, thank you all for the work that you do in the field. And I wanted to say what I think RDLN shares with HAC, it's a vision, a vision against rural poverty, a vision for a rainbow of people like the one in this room, a rainbow in a room, and it's wonderful to see um, a vision of comprehensive rural community development, which I've heard echoes of this morning. And I know that you focus on housing, and housing is very technical and complicated and results in a physical, visible, tangible object, a series of objects, and that's wonderful. And I know you also feel that housing is a platform for everything else, for health, for education, for work, and that all these things are part of the comprehensive community development process, and that's what we believe. And um, we also believe that people are an essential, indispensable part of the process, people on the ground, people with an idea who see a need and see a way to address the need. And that's what we try to do with the Rural Development Leadership Network is to provide opportunities and open doors, whether it's education, um, learning, practical, classroom, um, leadership experiences, um, and travel, uh, taking responsibility, the whole process is in the hands of the leader who joins our program. And they come to our institute at the University of California, Davis. They do a field project in their community and they've had the option of earning an academic degree. So thank you very much for the honor. <laughs> really appreciate it. Thank you.